guys, here's Madame OK, and today I want to teach you how to create a beautiful uh, floral painting using a photographic image as a reference. And there are certain tricks that we have to know before we will start using references. And one of them is that we don't need to use the reference image or paint exactly what we see. First of all, you can see that the photograph has a specific format. Why my piece of paper is 12 by 16, so it's very different, but that's okay. So I'm placing the image on the side and we will start with the sketch part. So very loosely, I will, I will establish where, my, where the main flower will be. And I think the first, let me see, maybe even here, and I make it a little bit bigger. And I like the head to go slightly, you see, under this angle, so towards me. So I'm creating ellipse instead of perfect circle, and I will make those patterns a little bit taller. On the bottom part, they have to be smaller. So right away, with ellipse and with the bigger patterns on the top, I create the idea, you see, that, that, um, the, aim, that the flower turns towards me. So I still will change those patterns while working. I think that we can have another flower, maybe, like you see, I see some patterns here coming, so I will make some of them, like you see, like here coming. So that would be my idea of another flower that is cut off with the edge of our paper. And I think I can place another one, maybe, maybe in this section here. And this is again, that's me who decides, right? So you see, will be another one coming here. See from there, I can really play with those beautiful flowers with the idea. See, this one is a little bit bigger, so maybe I'll make it smaller, I'll make it a little bit too big. Okay, so this is fine. I have those three flowers, I like the number three, uneven, and then I definitely need to have some of those beautiful leaves. So the leaves will be more or less of this shape with the big vein in the center. Then I place another one, a little bit uneven on the sides, right? So that's important. Uh, then another one will come maybe here, crossing the edge. Remember, we want to cross the edges. And I think we can also, I like this idea here, what is happening with the sleeve when I look at my reference image, you see going here. So you see, I already changed the image and I think it's for the better because of the format of my paper. See, there will be another big, big stamp I think coming somewhere here and I can play with this idea and then I need to have some okay you have one two I will need to have another nice leaf coming here see and then again I'm losing closely the reference photograph so that means I'm making adjustment to the image uh, to the scale of the and proportions of the paper that I have. Like you see, I have one leaf, another one here, another one, so I have three leaves. I do need to have more. And I place one just behind there. And I think for the composition, uh, composition uh, that will look good. You see the vein is there. And then we will have some smaller leaves. So as somewhere in the back, right? Coming like this. Remember, the vein is very important. So this flower is here, so I need to have another stamp coming, stamp coming here. See, like this plate. Voila, and I think we can later discover what kind of leaves additionally we will need and also the ground. Okay, fine. From there, we move towards painting. Okay, so I have my acrylic gel plus I have my additional palettes. Notice what I've done with the paint. I placed it in those buckets, small or flat um, containers. And then um, I, I also group them. I group them, for example, the yellow colors, orangey red color, um, greenish colors, blue with some black, and of course white separately. Um, now I want to start with some colors in the back. And believe me or not, the color that I want to use will be the purple. So I, I want to have some texture in my painting. So you can see what is happening right now. See, still, this is the first layer, so I can certainly apply a little bit of water here. I apply, I don't need to have too much of paint right now at this stage, because this color will be covered and it will only pick up through certain sections. No, no. Let's see. 
see. Now I want to go with some of the yellow colors. And I will, for the purpose, I will use, let's see, I will start maybe with the lighter one. This year, and I also can go with this yellow on some of my leaves. Because I want to create the effect of the, of the, very, actually I have it even here. So you see, like this. I want to have this nice um, light green, very yellowish, right? It's actually cool yellow yellowish green how can I even say it like this you see like this and I want to have it there definitely here as well you see I start building up a little bit of the of the uh, texture on it now uh, where are my leaves see I still want to find them see how how nicely I go on the top and the vein is white, but I changed the color for this that it will work better in my painting. We will see. Maybe maybe we'll go later to another color. Who knows, you see? Um, this color here, I certainly need to have it. You see, it's quite light, but right now, just the colors. Now, I need to have some of the colors here. You see, and since the pattern it's coming on top of top on the on this particular leaf, I have to make sure that it's a little bit darker around. You see, like this. Wow. Okay. The same here. This pattern will be darker. So again, I want to make sure that I really show the difference here. Okay, like this. Okay, and then this one here. So we will have lots of lots of beautiful, beautiful leaves here. You see with this. Wow, that's really, really, really rich. Okay, fantastic. Then, um, what we want to do with the stamps? Well, we want to make sure that we create them, and we create them with a little bit of red. Believe me or not, because you can see kind of brownish color. I also take a little bit of the white here. And I want to have this color for the stamps because the stamps have this very interesting reddish color. So it's a little bit lighter on one side and that's very important to me because I want to indicate that, you see, this is, um, there's a difference. Okay, I use a little bit of black, believe me or not, a little bit on this side here, just a touch. You see in some places like this, maybe even here, just a touch. Okay, and then definitely here, see like this, and then a little bit of it there. That's good. Then we place a little bit more of red on one side, like you see, and then some yellow as well on it. Good. Now I'll be coming inside of my flowers, and I have this beautiful black color, but I don't want to use just black. So what I will do, I will pick up a little bit of orange, and with it, I will get a brown, nice brown color. Okay, so like this, okay, like this. And so I can apply some blue here, you see, to make it richer and more interesting. And the same will be for this flower here. Good. See, then I bring some of the yellow and a little bit of my beautiful uh, orange color. So you see then, and again, a little bit of the blue here for sure, you see, and then we go around create this nice center so now it's time to work on our patterns so those patterns are very um, like you can see they are red but I will start with the color like you see a little bit of the yellow almost on the tips here and I think the yellow would be important in this painting yeah like this you see I don't know what's there Ooh, what I've done there what I do, I don't even remember. Okay, so this pattern will come here. We will have this one coming there. Another one on the top. And again, I just need a base, a little bit of yellow. Wow. See, and especially here, this doesn't need to have too much paint, but this section for sure, right? See, physically we create the texture here. Now with this beautiful flower, you see that it's only partially visible. I play something else here. I just need a little bit of the color. So I would use my 
my red and I will go with it like you see in this section here see how nicely I can mix it in in my um, in my painting here see and then I will think okay so wow how to develop it so that it really looks cool see like this and I even can bring it a little bit closer here in some places for sure see like this okay Then I will use a little bit of my of my yellow ochre, my mustard color here. And I like it very much because it helps me, like you see, to bring those um, more yellowish and darker tones into my leaves, a uh, pattern, sorry. See, so like this here, I just need the other colors. And what I do, I mix it yellow, um, cutting yellow with yellow ochre. See, so just a little bit, you see on this side, bring it those differentiations. Notice a little bit, even thicker here, and then certainly darker in those spots here. So I have lots of colors now. I have to go to the other one. See the same way I have to bring those colors in. Okay, it's really see coming here. I will start using some browns as well, but this is not time yet. Okay, you can see what's going on. Wow, see rich, rich, rich. So now I have to think about, about what I do with, with um, the colors in the background. I want to apply some, let's see, we have purple already here and I want to bring some of the green in. I see I'm mixing green and purple and I want to bring a fact that there's lots of action going on, but I don't want to necessarily just see green, green, green. So you see, this is a little bit of the blue there and I will bring some yellow ochre as well. You see, there's a lots of lots of going on for me. Okay, this will be okay here because it allows my leaf to shine. And then I'm bringing it here through. So I see lots of lots of action going on. So I like what is happening here and I want to go with some of those marks here, emphasizing the shape of my beautiful, beautiful leaves. And I know there's a lighter color coming here, so that's why I want to have it. Then I will look here and I create this vein. So you see, now I can, because I see all the colors and now I make adjustments. Okay, see going there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, thinking about those flowers here. And I don't know about this leaf. What's, that must be the leaf, right? So you see, you place this very bright green color in the back. And in the second row, we'll develop it. See, so I'm going here like this, and I can shape my beautiful patterns here. This color will be okay here, but I need more green here. So you see, those patterns are quite tall. I think I will bring a little bit more of my flower, of the center of my flower. The one will come somewhere here, and I definitely have to have it darker. So for the darker, I can bring a little bit of brown in it. So I use a little bit black and red even, or just, like you see, this mixture coming here like this, go right there. So the sleep is here and I have to emphasize its shape, right? So I'm coming here, like you see, like this, right? Helping it to shine. I call it helping it to shine, okay? So we have those colors here. We also can bring this. See, that's, that's, that's the way how we decide, like you see, how the, how the shapes will look like. So this is the space is empty, so I have to think how will I occupy it. And I definitely will bring some of my beautiful yellow. So in this case, I have to finish my leaf here. Okay, so I will go with, let me see this white here. Maybe this is too much of white, so I'm going like this. Okay, and then I have to bring back of my green, yeah, so that I don't lose it, the shape. Um, this is the this is the leaf that helps the other ones the uh, other leaves shine right so you see I'm have what I use here I use the contrast of colors and I'm bringing um, the blue here the same I will bring the blue a little bit into this section here because I think that will help our leaves look like you see even here a little bit I think that would be okay too. See, this looks really nice, but I have to get it a little bit thicker. You see here, like this. 
okay, and then, okay, I also will bring it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So we come here, and I think we have to start cross a little bit with it, the surface. See, when I can come here, and I still have to put the other, well, let's see. So we place something here, because I think that this will help our painting look better. Let's split this a little bit more. So again, we have lots of different colors. And I think I have to come back to my flower, and I have to make the flower more refined. So I'm going here with some of the colors. Like you see, to give the pattern some of the shapes. See, this one can be, and I have, I have to keep this yellow here in the front. See, like this, okay? I want to have this one coming here, and I certainly need to have it darker in the, in this section. But the darker will be with the blue, you see, like this. Okay, I do need to have blue there. See, like this. Certainly need this here. And then I can have a little bit of. So I'll come up here. Okay, and I still take a little bit of this yellow color here. See, to help our flowers look stronger. See, even here I will come. And then I certainly will, will push the blow here because I believe that this blow really um, goes into a nice interaction with the rest of the colors. See? And here, so I do need to have this flower here. I have to be careful that I don't overdo. Okay, now. A little bit more. I certainly need to come here with it. See, and those ones, those ones are not of such an importance. I mean, they are important, but not to such a point because what I want to bring, I want to really bring it, the whole attention to those leaves here. See, like this. The pattern, sorry. See, and this stuff can come here. Like you see, to make everything a little bit darker on the bottom here. See, like this. And darker, and darker. Okay. And darker here. Okay, I want to bring some of those patches here as well. So you see, it's something going on here. Wow. And then really, really here. See, I still want to dance with those patterns. Maybe that's too much. I think I exaggerate a bit too much. See, so I'm just backing up. this when you look how they work together fantastic and then we certainly need to what and now the other section that we really want to work on you see I make it a little bit darker I make it slightly darker here mm -hmm. then this section for sure has to be darker I don't want those white patches here coming so you see rather I apply some color here, see like this. I don't want to have too much contrast here, so I have to be careful because that can cause that we will have too much of um, action going to the pattern, sorry. So you see here, that goes quite nice. I still want to have more of this color here. And now we push this yellow on the top here. As long as you see, I have quite a bit of paint so I can afford to go and really play 
to get those interesting strokes and, and just flow, flowing lines. Okay, I still want to have a little bit more of this play on the tips. Here, see like this and like this. See and like this, that's for sure. Okay, a little bit more of it. See like really dancing. Okay, and the same would be here. And really, really, see those flowers? I love to apply such a thick layers of paint. Hmm. Now we have to think about the other sections in the painting. And what I will do, I will think about different kinds of green to create here. And I think that the yellow ochre will be a good addition here as well, right? So you see, for example, this leaf, a little bit. We have already one leaf here, but I will just add a little bit more. So you see, it's not really said exactly what it is, but because of the color, we assume that it will be a green color. And that will be the leaf, right? So you see, like for example here, when I'm coming here, I create a different greens, but I'm not so sure if I want to. Let's see. There's, I need more definition. So what I will do, I will come with some of the blue here and make this section a little bit darker. So that means darker green. I still want to a little bit manipulate with those beautiful shapes. See, maybe this is bit too much so we have to decide see for ourselves how much we like it and I think this will be okay and this will be also okay when we move it a little bit on the side you see like this okay and then I bring more of this yellow on the tips here see and then darker a little bit darker on the bottom here see right away I like this combination here, except that I want to put a little bit more of the purple. You see, a little bit of this and a little bit of this combination here, of what I have. You see, this color doesn't do anything for my painting. However, when I will apply a little bit of the, the blue, you see right away that changes the dynamics. So this is okay. And I think for my flower, I want to come here with some of those darker colors without showing that I've done it on purpose. Like you see, it's to look very natural like this. See, like the patterns are disconnected. See, like this, okay? See, maybe it's a little bit too much here. See, like this. Okay, now we want to go here. And we also want to have some nice colors here. Okay, so I will use different green because I want to have some contrast. So you see, like this will be okay. And I think we have too much, you see, of this green here. So I have to get the stronger green. Then I'll get the lighter blue. See, with the lighter blue, what I can do. See, I can get this different effect on my flowers. Okay. This color adds life to the to the painting. Mm -hmm. The same underneath here. We need to have it a little bit darker. Because those patterns are okay to a certain part, but not like this. Color here coming. Mm -hmm. See, just a touch here, giving the shape a little bit here, and I want to see what you have to say about that. Do you think that it's done? See, I still push it a little bit more here. 
like this I'm gonna put the darker color object somewhere in here see like this and I want to have it darker here maybe even dancing here like this see there's something going here like this and going like this here going like this see here So let me see what will happen now if we can just leave it the way it is or if we still need some other colors here or maybe not we don't know we have to figure find out see if we can have it like this this is quite rich i like it like this see leave it leave a bit for the rest 